brand new details about Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel's star-studded Italian wedding. The couple tying the night knot over the weekend, and there is Justin jumping for joy right next to Jessica. We have all the scoop, including how the groom serenaded the bride. It's the first glimpse of A-list wedded bliss. Hollywood's hottest newlyweds, Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel, gracing the latest cover of People post-wedding glow out in full force. The bride, a radiant vision in a custom-made petal pink and white strapless Jean-Baptiste Valley confection, while the groom looks ecstatic, donning a traditional Tom Ford tux. Some about you. The Like I Love You singer serenaded his bride with a song written specifically for the big day, telling people, I figured if there was something I was going to be able to offer, it would be to sing her down the aisle. Grown men were weeping. Beale adding that the moment definitely started the tears. The nuptials took place under the stars over the weekend at a resort in southern Italy, where Timberlake and Beale exchanged handwritten vows and custom-made gold bands they helped design. The couple, who have been dating for five years and got engaged last December, shared their first dance to Donny Hathaway's A Song For You. But we're alone now, and I'm singing this song to you. Which Timberlake tells people happens to be one of my favorite songs of all time and Jess's as well. The Love Stone pop star. And America's sweetheart danced the night away until 5 a.m. Beale telling people, we were the last ones on the dance floor, which we felt was pretty appropriate. All right, more details on the newlyweds big day in the latest issue of People, which hits newsstands nationwide on Friday. And for more, we're joined now by People Magazine's assistant managing editor, Kate Coyne. Kate, everyone wants to know what that song was that he wrote, he wrote for her, correct? Everybody wants to know. They may never find out. <laughs> the, the mere fact that he wrote a song for her, that he performed a song for her, especially since he stepped away from music so much in recent years. Uh, it's incredibly touching, but very, very personal to that day. I, I doubt we'll be seeing it on any upcoming albums. Ah, oh, too bad. All right, well, let's talk about her dress. Beautiful dress. and pink. And very pink. unusual. Very unusual, although more of a trend lately. I mean, there have been other brides. Reese Witherspoon recently got married in pink. You know, it's it's happening more and more, but this is a truly for a first pink wedding, gown. though, For right. a first wedding, and it's, it's not a, even that pale of pink. I mean, it is a, a truly pink gown. Gotta say, I love it. The wedding was rumored to cost over six million dollars. Do we yeah, know if there's any truth to that's that? That's the thing about rumors. I mean, those <laughs> those numbers get inflated pretty, pretty quickly. I would be surprised if it was that high, but certainly you look at the photos of this day and every element of it was exquisite. I mean, if that is what they paid, they, they got their money's worth. And of course, everyone, the next question when you get married, when are you having kids? When are you kids? having kids? Yeah. Have they addressed that? You know, they will someday. They they very much want a family, but they have massive careers and, and a lot of living, you know, in front of them. I mean, he's got movie projects coming up. She's got movie projects coming up. They've been married all of four or five days now. I think we can give them right. a little bit I of time. I think we should give them some space. And you know what? It was rumored that they were having all these high-profile guests there, but there was just mostly family and friends, mostly, which is a nice Mostly touch. family and friends. There was no in-sync reunion. Uh, there was, <laughs> you know, the, the, the cast of every film she's ever made were not there. Rumored people like Jennifer Garner, not there. This was family and friends only. Genuine and authentic. We yes. love that. Kate Coyne, thanks so much. We appreciate it.